guys, welcome to Wildlife Wonders at One. This year is Mr. Henry. He is a young Eurasian eagle owl, and he's going to do um, a couple of flight demonstrations today. So owls are in the raptor family. Uh, owls are raptors. He is kind of looking around just because, again, he is very young. He does get distracted kind of um, easily. If you hear him making that uh, sound, that's just a baby talk of, hey, what's going on type deal. Um, so owls, as I said before, are raptors. Good. And so raptor actually originates from the Latin word rapier, which means to grab or to seize by force. So um, as you can see, raptors have very, very powerful talons. And so you can see very long, very powerful here. Um, they do use their feet to grab and squeeze their prey. So owls, um, they share the name raptors with hawks and falcons. And um, so, but they, there, there are several things that separate them from hawks and falcons. Um, first of all, they do come out primarily during um, the night time. Now notice how I said primarily. Um, so they do have very special adaptations to help them survive and hunt when it is dark. So first things first, as I um, mentioned their feet, they do have very, very fluffy feet. As you can see, they have feathers all the way down to their talon tips. That helps um, break wind. So these guys are specifically designed for silent flight. And so um, their feathers are very, very thick. They're very, very fluffy, but they're also serrated around the tips. So let's say you take a towel, you take one strand of it, and then you tear the strand, and then it's all like frayed. Each one of their feathers kind of looks like that frayed towel. Um, the frays help break the wind and um, make them very, very silent flight there too. Um, so Eurasian eagle owls are one of the largest species of owls. Um, females are generally a lot larger than the males, and as I said, he is still a bit on the young side. Um, you can also see that he has these handsome little tufts here on his head. These, surprisingly, are not his ears. So these guys have another really cool adaptation um, for nighttime flight um, called asymmetrical ears which means even though we have our ears here and here, they can have one ear up here and one ear all the way back there. Um, that helps um, them hear things in front of them, behind them, above them, below them, all the way around. Um, really, really helps them, especially when it's dark. Um, as you can see, he's also turning his head, but you'll also notice his eyes are not moving. So these guys, birds do have 14 vertebrae in their necks. Humans, we only have about seven. Um, so these guys are able to turn their heads a lot farther than people can. Reason being is because um, their eyes are so massive, they're actually fixed into their skull by a bone. And so they're not able to move their eyes up and down, side to side, all the way around like we can. And so they have to have um, flexible necks in order to be able to see all the way around them. Um, you can also see their faces are significantly more flat than um, a hawk or a falcon. Um, that, because, that is because they act like a satellite dish. So if they hear a sound all the way over there, they're able to do this thing called triangulation. He may do it, he may not. He's just kind of focused on that squirrel moving over there. Um, but that triangulation, it helps them pull all kinds of sounds into their face and then it funnels into their ears. So they're able to hear a tiny little mouse burrowing very deep in the snow or in the ground. Um, they have awesome senses of hearing. Um, they also have very awesome sense of sight as well. So. This is Henry, so we will see if he would like to do one more flight. He is still in training. I'm good, I just went through and do one hand check. Good job. So owls, as I said before, they're designed specifically for silent flight. And so if I had a hawk or a falcon up in here, um, they would be flapping super loudly. But um, if you guys have a chance to see an owl up close or watch them fly up close, um, like our owl and friends encounter, um, you will hear that you cannot hear them fly at all. Um, it's, it's amazing really. And um, seeing like the way their feathers are set. Hey. Yeah, he seems to be pretty distracted right now. So I'm just gonna let him look around. <laughs> there you go. So one um, cool thing about these guys, um, conservation wise, um, these guys do get hit by cars pretty easily. Um, and that is because when they hunt, they do have this one thing called tunnel vision, which means they'll focus on something really, really strongly and then completely black out everything else. Yeah, 
he's very distracted right now, <laughs> um, completely block out anything else around them. And so if they see a mouse or something um, waddling in the middle of the road, um, they'll swoop down and try and catch it. They won't notice the car that's coming and they will get hit. So easy way to help avoid that is not to throw trash outside of your vehicle because even like a banana peel, it can be um, like biodegradable. But if you throw a banana peel or something out and a mouse or a squirrel tries to get it, um, a hawk or a falcon or an owl can um, see it and they will try and fly and they don't look both ways. So look both ways before trying to catch mice around sides of the roads. So it looks like he's about done, we'll see. Yep, he's distracted. <laughs> All right, do you have anything? Uh, I think we're good. Thank okay. you so much, Erica. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Wildlife Wonders at One. Uh, please check out our gift shop online as well as our auction. We have a Facebook auction page. Uh, we'll put that in the comments also. Uh, you're welcome to donate things to it or bid on items. And that will all go into benefiting uh, the animals like Henry here at North Georgia Zoo. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.